what's up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm cs tortega and today i'll be teaching you guys how to iron creases on your chef coat so the best guide to use is going to be your nsus to make your creases on your chef coat so like your nsus you have your two on the front one on the left side and then one on the right of course and then your th the ones on the back so you got three going down your back and then the one across as well and of course the ones on your arms so again like this shift coat you got your three going down your back and then the one going across and also the ones up in the front on your left side and your right side and of course the ones on your arms so the first thing you want to do is, of course, iron this flat. So I got my starch and my spray bottle, so I'm going to spray it a little bit. This always helps take the creases out. And of course, having some water or distilled water in your iron. So try to iron it flat first. So putting some starch where you were gonna have your creases always helps it make it nice and crispy. And it helps the creases stay in a lot longer. Now I'm gonna do the other arm. Just gonna iron it flat like I did with this one. Spread it with a little bit of water first and then iron it flat. Next, I'm going to do this front side. Again, just iron it flat. Spray a little bit of water on here. And I'm going to do the other side. Do the same thing. Iron this flat. And now, doing the back. So now that it's fully ironed flat, the best thing you can look at, again, is your NSUs. You could use that as a guide to see where your creases are supposed to go. So of course, you got your three in the back and then this one that goes right across your back. So first one I'm gonna do is this middle one. So I'm gonna get my seams from the side and then fold it in half and that's gonna be where my first crease is at you're gonna use that as a guide so that's halfway point and the same with this top half you're gonna get the sides of your shoulders and then fold them in half or there's like this tag in the back you could use it as a guide as well so now that you got that in half, that's when you start ironing your creases. So again, you're going to use a little bit of starch, which is going to help get those nice crisp creases. Just slowly go back and forth. Try not to have the iron on there too long because you don't want to burn it. So every command has different chef coats. So different colors, of course, different styles. So some commands might even have like a polo. Like right now, the maroon one I'm wearing is from my previous ship, the USS Boxer in San Diego. 
So the only reason it's maroon was because I was a CEO's cook. So they let me buy my own chef coat and I just picked the color I really liked. But the rest of the crew, uh, they had to wear a white chef coat. And at my current command here at CSA school, we used to have a white chef coat and then a blue polo. And then we recently got like a gray one with like blue accents to it. It's pretty cool. So there we go, our first crease. You can see it's super crisp. So try to get it as even as possible. I know it might look a tiny bit crooked, I think. That's fine. So it's nice, crisp, and then this next one, you're gonna, it's gonna be right here. So you're gonna get the crease and then the side of the seam and then fold it in half and that's gonna be your where your other um, crease is gonna start. So it's half and then the same with this, try to get it as even as possible with the half of this other side. So it needs a little bit more and I kind of, in a way I measure it to make sure it's even. So this, like the length of this should be roughly the same as the length of this other side to get it as even as possible. So it looks about right. Try to get it as smooth as possible. So it won't be super crooked. And again, you could use your NSUs as a guide. So it looks pretty straight to me, so I'm gonna spray my starch on here. And then again, put my iron. So honestly, you don't necessarily have to do this for all your chef coats. It just looks nicer compared to someone who either just doesn't iron their chef coat or just uh, irons it flat. Whenever you put crease on your uniforms, it shows that you care and it shows that how much effort you're putting into your appearance. So if you see someone with uh, nice creases, you know that they're taking their time because they want to look good. So always having these creases on your chef coat does make you look more, I guess, professional in a way compared to someone who doesn't have the creases or just, again, doesn't iron their chef coat. So now we've got this other crease. And yep, yeah, looks nice, pretty straight, even. And now this one on the left. Again, grab that center, the center crease and then the side of the seam and then fold it in half. And that's where you're gonna get that starting point. And again, the same with this side. So again, the, the length of this should be roughly the same as the top. So that's where you're gonna end up folding it as well. So it could be as straight as possible. So it's always best to iron it flat. So all you gotta do is just the creases after. So this looks pretty even, probably a little bit more. And then we're gonna do the other crease that goes on this other side. So now that I got it even, put my starch on here. And then just iron that crease in. So there we go, that's our third crease running down your back. You see they're nice, crisp, they're, they're really nice, they're even. And then at the end you could always just iron like little bits and pieces like this flat because you might uh, end up wrinkling it through this process. So we got these three creases running down your back. Now we're gonna do the one that's across like that. 
So I'm going to use this bottom part of this circle as a guide. So that's when I'm, I'm going to end up doing that last crease. So you got to be careful with this last one because you got those creases in and you don't want to iron them flat like the rest of the stuff. So you're going to use that half uh, circle as a guide. I'm just start ironing this. Put put some spray a little bit of water on here. Try to iron these creases, and then put your starch on this part of it. I'm gonna start ironing that crease in here, and I'm gonna have to go behind and iron the other three creases going down your back because I might have ironed it flat a little bit so I think these are probably the easiest creases you could do I think the ones in the front are a little bit harder so I got that done so I got my three creases going down your back and the one going across. So again, I'm gonna just try to do these creases a tiny bit over. So it could look nice and clean, just clean it up a little bit. Cause I kind of ironed them flat a little bit just when I did that one across your back earlier. And then this one. I didn't really affect it too much, but it should be good. So there we go. Our four creases on your back. The three going down your back and then the one going across. And now we're gonna, I'm about to do the ones in the front. So again, these are a little bit more, I guess tricky for me or I think for anybody. So here's the front. So again, you're gonna do uh, something. You're gonna end up doing like the half of this top part. So I'm gonna get this, the seam of this part and then the seam of your shoulder and then fold it in half. That's where I'm gonna create my middle crease. because you can't really fold the seam of this and the seam of this and do it half because it's gonna be a little bit off. It's gonna be a little bit crooked. So you have to go off of the top part and see where it falls in the middle. So this is the middle of it. Like the other one, you kind of have to measure how wide this is. You can measure it to the bottom part. So that's how thick it's gonna be all around. That's probably the best way to get these creases as straight as possible. So the width of the top is about the same as the bottom. Try to get it all flat, as flat as you can. Then you're gonna spray some starch on this again and start doing your creases. So this might take a few times to get it right, but it's fine. Just try to do your best. Of course, spray some more starch on here to get those Nice. Oh shoot. Fix this real quick. I'm not going to do it completely. I'm just going to check it real quick. See if it's straight. And 
and I'm good with that. I think it came out pretty good. So I'm gonna just pass it over again. So I don't wanna do it completely just in case the crease came out a bit crooked. So I'm gonna put a little bit more starch on this other side. So these are the more noticeable creases, of course, the front. So these almost, these gotta be super perfect. So I put starch on both sides. Now this crease is nice and crisp as well. Come out good, it's nice and straight. Yep, nice. And of course, after you're done doing the creases, you could always pass over it again to kind of eliminate some of the ink, uh, wrinkles you might have done. Now, this other side, again, you're gonna use the top as a guide. So I'm gonna get this seam and then this seam right here and fold it in half. That's where I'm gonna get my middle crease from. And then roughly the same width as the top should be the same width as this bottom part. So it could be nice and even. So for me, this one's always the hardest. It's just more, a little bit more complicated and I feel like it takes a little bit more effort and just you don't really have much of a guide to go when it comes to the seams you just have to kind of in a way guesstimate and i'm gonna do a quick little pass check it to see if it's straight enough for me so let me go and check it real quick This one, oh, this one's a little bit crooked, I think. I don't know, it should be, it's fine. I think I like it. It's good, yeah. So now, I'm gonna go on this other side. Put some more stars and just, and this is your last crease that you gotta do. So it looks nice, crisp, and that's it. That's your final crease, it came out nice and straight. Again, you could always pass, pass your iron along a second time in certain little areas that you might have wrinkled up. This is it. Got these nice creases in the front. You always use like a lint roller, pretty straight. And then your creases in the back, like you can tell right now, right here, it might need like a little passing. Just lightly pass over it. Just to get some of those wrinkles out, but that's it. Again, pass a little bit through it, just in case those finishing touches hey thank you again for watching this video if you like what you see make sure you like and subscribe to my channel